I'm a woman, I'm African, and I'm a scientist. Those three things are by themselves a challenge where I come from. Being African means you have to overcome a lot of hurdles that is common to whether you're a woman or you're a man. Being female in my social control context is also extremely different because um, in Africa or in most parts of Africa, the males are, you know, the dominant forces and females are the ones who look after the home. Growing up in a kind of patriarchal system was normal. I see how toxic our environment has been and unfortunately still is. As a researcher, it's not any different. It's the same disparities, it's the same challenges that we face as women and then as researchers in a field that we're not supposed to be in. But no! I choose to add to the layer of being African female scientist by researching in neglected tropical diseases. So the attention to research, the atten attention to funding is really, really small. So why do I still do it? Why am I still interested in it? It's because I've seen what it can do to people, especially to women who are affected with the diseases. We need support. Mentorship is very important you know, in what we do. Mentorship is key. We require funding as well, especially in the African context. Because that's where the disease is. That's where I can inform the community that it is something which is caused by a bacteria. And so it can be cured. It's not something that is a life sentence. That is why I choose to do this at home and in Africa. Trust me, there are lots of women African women researchers who are extremely good. They just need a platform to excel. And then an Esbad came along. <laughs> you know, it was, it was just the best thing ever. It signifies opportunities. It signifies empowerment, basically. So I am super grateful to be the first recipient of the Labeka de Todas program or grant.